Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this April 11th. I'm looking at radar right now. We have some showers moving into the area, some places west of Bowling Green. As of 4.53 a.m., as I record the podcast this Tuesday morning, already receiving showers. I don't think we'll see anything too uh, strong or even severe today. That will stay kind of away from us. But um, we need some rain. We're lacking in rainfall. You know, we had the red flag warning yesterday, the high fire danger. And then we had the the off-the-charts pollen count uh, yesterday. Uh, Tree pollen just going berserk. And uh, grass pollen even now starting to show up. Today, uh, the pollen count will go down. It'll be pretty much chopped in half thanks to the rainfall coming in. So that should help things just, uh, well, if not temporarily. Uh, And then uh, we may pick up close to a half inch of rainfall with some of these showers and thunderstorms as they come through. A cold front will pass through the area today and uh, shut off the rain by tonight. Yesterday, we had a high of 80, 80 degrees at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon at the Bowling Green Airport. That was 12 degrees warmer than the average high of 68, but 10 degrees shy of the record of 90. Yeah, 60 was our low. That was 16 degrees warmer than the average low of 44. A year ago, we had a high of 68 and a low of 34 back in 2016. No rainfall past 24 hours. That is changing as I speak. This morning, as we're seeing the showers moving in, we're running behind for the month of April almost a half inch. And year to date, we're behind by a little bit over two inches. So this rain will be welcomed. It may not be enough to eradicate the deficit, but it will be a temporary fix anyway. 70% chance of showers and a few thunderstorms today. And the high around 70 with the southwest wind at 8. But winds will shift to the northeast as the cold front comes in. 40% chance of showers this evening, then ending with a low of 52. Then for Wednesday, becoming mostly sunny with a high at 74. A warm front passes through late Thursday into Friday. Mostly sunny Thursday, 78, all the way to 80 again on Good Friday with a 30% chance of a shower as that warm front passes. We get a break on Saturday. We've taken out any mention of rain on Saturday now and warmed it up to 82. I would say anything that you're planning outdoors for Easter weekend, you'll want to do it on Saturday instead of Sunday, like an Easter egg hunt or maybe... uh, You know, taking a picnic outdoors or going to the lake. You know, I think Saturday is going to be the day. Mix of clouds and sunshine, 82. It will be breezy. But Easter Sunday, the reason why I said plan something Saturday instead of Sunday, Easter Sunday we are looking at a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms and a high of 80 as another cold front moves in. And then we clear out by Monday with a high at 76. Looks like we may be okay for Easter sunrise services. Right now, uh, just looking ahead, it appears that any rain on Easter Sunday would come uh, later in the day and not necessarily that morning. So let's hope it stays that way. I know a lot of uh, area churches do plan some sunrise services Uh, So hopefully we can keep that dry. All right. Again, we're not expecting any severe weather today. So if you hear a rumble of thunder, see some lightning, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, And that should do it for this edition of the podcast. Uh, Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com later today. If you have a chance to join me for my radio show, it's a classic hit, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.